Thank you for subscribing to the Chippy Tour. It's much appreciated. For those who haven't subscribed yet, only take you a second. Hit the subscribe button. Share the video. Share the channel with your friends. It will go a long way with me. Thank you. Now this Chippy, called The Chippy, or The Chippy, maybe, in the Yorkshire Dales, was suggested to me by a Daniel Airy. And the weather gave us a bit of a break, because it's, it's usually always raining. It, it, it's rare we get a full day without rain. Well, we actually didn't get a full day without rain, as it happens, but it was dry enough while we were up there. And there's the Wensleydale Creamery, just around the corner from the Chippy. And the Chippy uses the Wensleydale cheese, fresh from round the corner, if you say cheese is fresh, from round the corner, in nice little blocks like that, and they deep fry it in their beef dripping and you pull it apart and you can see the texture in it a kind of a, a cheshire crumbly cheese going on there with a, a, a kind of a strong or, or at least a mature cheddar taste too and it, it's melted in parts it's firm in other parts and i think if you was to get it straight off out of the fryer and stand there with it it would be quite gooey but because it was a, a couple of minutes or so before we actually ate it it was firming up a little bit, so it was just perfect, and the batter, crispy, lovely. Right, we've taken a trip up to the Yorkshire Dales, and we're in Hall, high up in the Yorkshire Dales in North Yorkshire. We've got a real treat. To start with, we've got battered black pudding. So I'm going to cut that in half, and we'll have a look inside. Oh. Look at that. Oh, delicious. Thick, nice thick pieces. And it's cooked in beef dripping. Everything in the chippy is cooked in beef dripping. The chips, everything. Now, battered haggis. Let's cut the thing in half. You see, now this looks like, this looks more like haggis. I don't know. I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit reluctant, but at the same time, I've got to give it a go. Yeah, that's really nice. I wouldn't say haggis, from what I've experienced up to now, was my favourite food, but I can see why people are attracted to it. What I've got here is... Wensleydale cheese, battered, deep fried and battered. There's a Wensleydale creamery just around the corner and we're going to end up over there afterwards and maybe grab a coffee, see what dessert we can get from there, maybe pick up some Wensleydale cheese while we're there. But if we just break this open, you can see it's thick. Yeah, it's got quite a strong flavour, not too strong, but a mixture of Cheshire cheese and a cheddar cheese. It's, it's kind of got that with it, and it's got that kind of consistency of Cheshire cheese. But, oh, it's delicious. Let's try the chips. It's got crispies, got nice thick ones, all kinds of mish shapes, just the way I like them. Okay, we've got a battered sausage. Oh, that's... We'll just peel some of this batter back. It's a bit pale, but that's to be expected. I'm just going to give it a try. That's, uh, that's well cooked. I think it's skinless. I think that's why. It's just the meat itself. Yeah, it's a skinless sausage. Battered. Lovely. Right, what we've got here is the homemade steak pie. And they've put chips with it and a gravy. So it must have been like a, a pie dinner or something. So I think if you're, if you're asking yourself, just be clear if you want pie on its own or maybe it only comes with chips and gravy. But well, let's get in here. Yeah, 
yeah, it's like a mince. There's, oh yeah, no, there's chunks of meat in there. Yeah, yeah, that's delicious. Right, okay, we've got the haddock. And this looks like a great piece of haddock. I'm not asking for a large or anything like that. And, oh, look at it. I think they just do one size. I don't think they do particularly do a large or a small. I think it just is. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, that really is nice. Look how thick that is. Look at that. Oh, wow. I'm going to go swim that malt vinegar again on this. The ultimate in scraps. I'm going to save some of these and mix them with some of the gravy from what's on the pie and continue to eat them because it's just like that crunch. My table keeps opening up a little bit because we're on slope and this keeps drifting back into the truck. And what I'll have to do is I'll have to connect some pins up into here so that we don't separate like this. We're going to go back now to the computer. I'm going to look at some reviews, good, re good reviews and bad reviews. And I'm going to write my review. So we'll see you back there. So as you can see by that, we were impressed. Very impressed. As far as parking goes, it was market day. Now I don't know how many days of the week there's a market, but the road was busy. Plenty of people, the car, there wasn't much in the way of car parking spaces, but just around the corner, first left after the, after the, the chippy and left again into a large car park there. There's probably, I don't know, maybe a hundred parking spaces. I'm not sure. For the disabled people, they can get in there for free with their badge. There's a gate then at the back of the car park that will take you through to the Wensleydale cheese or creamery. You can go that way, but it's a bit of a, bit of a hill and for those that are less able go out of the car park with your vehicle if you've got one turn left and then just up the road a bit further there's another left into the Wensleydale creamery there so you can go to the uh, visitors centre and you can buy some Wensleydale cheese but the deep fried Wensleydale cheese from the chippy was something else and if you're up in the dales at all which is beautiful if you're up in the dales you've got to call in there and give that Wensleydale, deep fried Wensleydale cheese and beef dripping a go. You really do. And they do other things. They do the haggis like you saw then. I'm still not sure about haggis. That was only my second time. And it, it's one of those tastes. I, I taste all kinds of things in it. Because there's all kinds of things in it. And that's, that's what I'm not too sure about. The batter was nice. There was a nice taste to it. Just something else for me. And although my wife loved it and the black pudding it was quite a thick chunk and it was quite soft it was lovely however when i cook this is just me when i cook my black pudding i cut it about half an inch thick or about 13 mil thick i put it in a frying pan with a tiny little bit of oil olive oil and i have it on a low heat and i can leave it on one side for half an hour until it blackens and crisps on one side and then I'll turn it over again and just leave it on that low heat until it crisps up on the other side. So by the time it's finished, the whole thing is, is firm, soft, quite soft in the inside, but crispy and firm, but not burnt on the outside. That's how I like my black pudding. Obviously, that's just something completely different. But this was delicious and it's got to be worth a go. I mean, I spent £27 there. The fish was £7 and change. But it was huge. It was a lovely piece of haddock, chunky and fresh. And the, the batter was, the beef dripping batter was crispy and light and fluffy. Anyway, let's look at the reviews. The Chippy, 4.7 out of 5, the whole thing for 947 reviews. Two star, lovely fish and chips, but frankly, not worth the one hour, 10 minutes wait in the queue. Three star, takeaway fish and chips. The chips were okay. Not great, but still okay. But the fish, the first half was lovely and thick and soft, although way too much batter. The second half was like rubber and very thin. Couldn't actually eat it. Dogs had a sausage and enjoyed that though. It was packed. Queue halfway down the street, an extremely slow service, and a woman on the till wasn't very friendly, but was polite. 
I think they just couldn't cope with the volume of people. Parking, couple of parking spots, but between 50 plus people and that's on the road before the double yellow lines. I don't think it's wheelchair friendly at all. Five star, the best fishing ships we've had in years. Fast service and reasonably priced. Slight quibble, it's card payment only, but otherwise highly recommended. Give them a try if you visit Hawes. You won't be disappointed. Mine, in the heart of the Yorkshire Dales, this fish and ship shop is truly a hidden gem. The service is warm and welcoming and the food is outstanding. I tried the deep fried haggis, black pudding and Wensleydale cheese sourced from the nearby Wensleydale Creamery, which is definitely worth a visit. Other highlights included haddock and chips, homemade steak pie with onion gravy and battered sausage. The chips and other fried items are deliciously cooked in beef dripping with the batter being crispy and light. The establishment is clean, tidy and often bustling boasting a restaurant section with ample seating, there's some street parking available at the quieter times, small park, car park adjacent and a large paying display car park just around the corner which offers free parking for disabled batch holders. I highly recommend this chippy if you find yourself in the Dales. Cooking in beef dripping, fish reviewed haddock, hygiene rating 5, card payments. I don't know about the card payments um, cash because I just tried with a card so you know I didn't ask whether it was cash or card because I've never found a chippy before that only takes cards and doesn't take cash you know it's it's quite rare maybe that's just the way they like to keep a check of things which is good if everybody's got a card I, that, maybe double check with that anyway see you on the next one